what people see at any time, what their attention is focused upon, is always the rear view mirror, never the present image or the present fact. The future of the future is the present. And this is something that people are terrified of. My name is Philip Marchand. I'm a former student of Marshall McLuhan's when I was an undergraduate, an experience that prompted me later to, um, to write a biography of McLuhan. It was uh, published in 1989, and uh, I have always wondered about why I didn't include a certain episode in the book, uh, which was very revealing to McLuhan. Um, although, in, in fairness to McLuhan, it was, it, it, this episode took place at a time when he had just went through a terrible, painful, horribly painful brain operation that lasted hours and uh, left him cranky, to say the least. Many of the things I talk about I find very irritating. Um, that's what leads me to investigate them, you know. He, was, he became so sensitive to the, his environment after the surgery uh, that he be, it was sometimes very um, unpleasant. The noise factor was horrible for him. He, he had to move to a different lecture hall and so on to, to try to get away from all this uh, sensory um, annoyance. Even in this year when he was uh, had his worst, he always made you want to come back for more. For example, why did he think that a computer was not a machine? Or even to say something like that modern poetry is resonance. What does that mean? Uh, but yet it seemed to fit. It seemed to it seemed to be a. Uh, there seemed to be something that was real about that remark, that, that modern poetry was not something that was um, logical or uh, it, was, it was something that was vibrational, uh, 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 resonant. The medium I employ is the probe, not the package. That is, I tend to use phrases, I tend to use observations that tease people, that squeeze them, that push at them, that uh, disturb them, because I'm, I'm really exploring uh, situations. I'm not trying to deliver some complete set of observations about anything. One episode that I particularly found interesting uh, was the, an episode that I, in, in fact, I witnessed, um, as opposed to some, the vast majority of the material in the book was uh, secondhand from interviews and so on. He was teaching at the, at the time with uh, Sheila Watson, who is the author of the well-known Canadian novel, uh, The Double Hook. Uh, the, Sheila Watson, a um, wonderful friend of McLuhan's. They were very sympathetic to each other. And, and, um, but there was a point at which McLuhan became very um, nasty. McLuhan made some remark about T.S. Eliot about how T.S. Eliot was shocking to people. And Sheila Watson said, well, the people that I thought of were shocked because he was a Christian. <laughs> and McLuhan said, oh yes, you know, well, I guess your group was uh, a little more sophisticated than my group. And, uh, and he said it in a very nasty way, which shocked the other people in the, in the class because, as I say, um, um, Sheila Watson was very well loved by everybody. The uh, global village is a world in which uh, you don't necessarily have harmony. You have extreme concern with everybody else's business. Why didn't I include this episode in the book where McLuhan treated his very dear friend in a sort of unpleasant uh, manner? Why didn't I? Uh, because I was there. Whenever you're getting information from somebody it's secondhand, you, you are depending on their veracity. Uh, but this was an instance where I, I was, there was no uh, doubt in my mind because I was there, I'd seen it. As the victim of a biography, you're, you're vulnerable. The biography can't defend itself, and neither can the uh, subject of the biography. They can't defend themselves. So you, you, hear, you have them in your hands. 
I, I, I think I felt sorry. It might have been a case of feeling sorry for the subject, which is sometimes an injustice to this subject because the, the subject is truth. The, the, the subject of the biography, biography usually deep down wants the truth to be told. They want their story to be told. You know, it's as if the, the subject has, has a certain right. But it actually it's the reader who has the right to get the truth. And in a funny way, so does the subject of the biography. We don't want to be humiliated. And to hurt the feelings of a friend is, is it can be awful. So I, I really don't have any strong feelings about this because it's a situation that will uh, tend to correct itself in time. So I think perhaps that was the crux, the key, that I, I didn't want to hurt his feelings. Um, they want a, a perpetual dialogue going on among themselves as a response to world events. The family circle has widened, Mom and Dad. The world pool of information.